Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing inverse Z transform that is our type 2 and problem number 3. Welcome back friends, till now we are done with 3 examples, now we are going to discuss the 4th one. Our aim is to find inverse Z transform that means converting problem from Z to K. So this is the given example, here we need to find inverse Z transform of this particular problem. Now the problem is very simple here, there is uh, nothing in it. The only thing is see here, in the denominator we do have a quadratic equation. So whenever we get quadratic equation in the denominator, we need to find its roots. So let's start f of z equal to z plus 2 upon z square minus 2z plus 1. So which is equal to z plus 2 upon, if you observe this is z minus 1 the whole square. Now what is the next step? Steps are fixed. First step is partial fraction. So let's start with partial fraction. z plus 2 upon z minus 1 the whole square. We have discussed a number of times. It is square. So therefore it will be written as a upon plus b upon. So this is the way a partial fraction is written. Now my aim is to find it out the values of a and b. So let's start finding down the values z plus 2 upon let's take LCM. So this is the LCM and that will be cancelled with a will be left with z minus 1 and with b will be left with 1. If you are not confirm aware about this partial fraction, let me tell you how to solve this partial fraction if you are not aware about it. So just have a look. Z minus 1 the whole square is your LCM and we do have A upon Z minus 1 and B upon Z minus 1 the whole square. Denominator we got Z minus 1 the whole square. What I am going to do is I am going to multiply this here and here. So if this term is multiplied with A, this will be cancelled and with A you will be left with Z minus 1, this is what I got here. And if this term is multiplied with B, see this will be cancelled and with B you will be left with 1. So this is the basic concept of partial fraction. Let's move on. So we got Z plus 2 equal to A Z minus 1 plus B. We want two values so we need two substitutions, put, put. Now in the given problem, we do have only one factor and what is that? Z minus 1. So therefore Z minus 1 equal to 0, Z equal to 1. What next? In the problem, we do have only one factor, but we need two substitutions because we need to calculate two values A and B. So what next? The next substitution, you're going to make it by yourself. So let's put Z equal to 0. You can have any substitution. You can have one, one already done. So you can have two, three and whatever. So let me take Z equal to zero. So if I'll put Z equal to one and Z equal to zero in this equation, Z equal to one means one plus two is three equal to, this term will be zero. Why? If Z is one, one minus one is zero, anything zero. You will be left with B. So b equal to 3. This is the first value that I got. Let's move on with the next value. If I'll put z equal to 0, LHS I'll be left with 2 and in RHS I'll be left with minus 1 plus b because this z is 0. So let's put the value of b here that is 3 and that b that is 3 will come this side and that will become minus 3. So this is minus 3 basically let me write it down again minus a plus 3 this 3 will come this side and that will become minus 3 and minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. So a is equal to 1. So friends I got two values b equal to 3 and a is equal to 1. So I need to put a and b value. So therefore f of z equal to 1 upon z minus 1 this is the value of a that I got and the second value is 3 that I got. Now let me check ROC here. ROC stands for region of convergence. If you look at the denominator from this you will get from both actually you will get Z minus 1 equal to 0. That means Z equal to 1. That means mod Z equal to 1. 
while finding ROC ignore this square. So both the factors are basically z minus 1 that is z equal to 1 that is mod z is equal to 1 that means circle with radius 1. Now here there will be two cases possible a point may lie here or may lie here inside the circle outside the circle. So what is the first point mod z less than 1 and case number 2 is mod z greater than 1. Now there are two cases possible if it is asked to expand or to find inverse z transform for all the cases then we need to solve for both the cases but friends in this given problem we just need to ask solve for only one case and that case is this mod z greater than one so i'll be solving for only one case so your case is mod z greater than one that means we are talking about point is lying outside and as discussed if point is lying outside what if point is lying outside what to take common inside constant outside z so friends here the point is outside so we need to take z common f of z is 1 upon z minus 1 plus 3 upon z minus 1 the whole square now point is outside obviously both the points are z equal to 1 so point is outside both let me revise the steps what is the first step take common what is the next step step number one please note down step number one take z common or constant common take common basically step number one is take common step number two convert the problem into one plus one minus format step number three take it up and inverse step number four expand step number five take the inverse z transform so let's start with the first step take common now here the point is lying outside so we need to take z common so step number one take common z common so this will be taking common means dividing so 1 minus 1 upon z here also i'm going to take z common from the second factor but if i take z common due to this square z square will come outside and will be left with 1 minus 1 upon z the whole square so due to this square this one z will become z square what's the next step convert the problem into 1 plus 1 minus format now look here the problem is 1 minus it's already 1 minus so no need to do anything what next take it up so let's take that term up so that will be 1 minus 1 upon z inverse plus 3 upon z square 1 minus 1 upon z raised to minus 2 let's open hope you remember the formula what is the formula for 1 minus x inverse 1 plus x plus x square plus dot 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 and the next formula is 1 minus x raised to minus 2 what is the formula 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus dot 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 so i'll be applying that formula so 1 upon z here we do have 1 minus 1 upon z inverse plus 3 upon z square 1 minus 1 by z raised to minus 2 let's open the brackets next step is expand so this is 1 plus x plus x square and obviously x means 1 upon z in our case plus dot 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 now let's open this both are minus therefore everything will be plus and the formula is 1 plus 2x here instead of x we do have 1 by z so 1 plus 2 by z plus 3x square plus 4x cube and dot 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 so this is your expansion step what is the next step last step to find inverse z transform for that purpose we need to simplify it as discussed a number of times only constant will remain outside so here we do have 1 upon z so 1 upon z will go inside so that will be 1 by z plus 1 upon z square plus 1 upon z cube plus dot 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 plus here we do have 3 upon z square so 3 will remain outside because as discussed constant will remain outside and z will go inside so 3 upon z square 3 will remain outside and 1 upon z square will go inside so that will be 1 upon z square plus 2 1 upon z cube 3 this is already 1 upon z square and 1 upon z square multiplied so basically 3 
वन अपॉन जेड एस टू फोर प्लस डॉट 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 सो विच इज इक्वल टू जेड इनवर्स प्लस वन अपॉन जेड स्क्वेर विल बी रिटर्न एज जेड रेस टू माइनस टू जेड रेस टू माइनस थ्री प्लस डॉट 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 वॉट अबाउट दस थ्री वन जेड रेस टू माइनस टू टू जेड रेस टू माइनस थ्री प्लस थ्री जेड रेस टू माइनस फोर प्लस डॉट 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 सो द फ्रेंड्स लास्ट स्टेप एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप इज लेट मी रिपीट अगेन जेड इनवर्स जेड रेस टू माइनस टू जेड रेस टू माइनस थ्री प्लस डॉट 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 कैन यू प्लीज हेल्प मी आउट वॉट विल बी द जनरल टर्म ऑफ द सीरीज जेड रेस टू माइनस के एंड विथ जेड रेस टू माइनस के वॉट वी हैव सी इयर एवरीवेयर विद दिस टर्म जेड रेस टू माइनस थ्री जेड रेस टू माइनस टू जेड रेस टू माइनस वन वी डू हैव वन ईयर सो दिस इज द जनरल टर्म एंड फॉर द नेक्स्ट इज थ्री इज आउट साइड एंड वी डू हैव वन जेड रेस टू माइनस टू प्लस टू जेड रेस टू माइनस थ्री सी ईयर प्लस थ्री जेड रेस टू माइनस फोर सो वॉट कैन यू कंक्लूड इन जनरल इफ इट इज जेड रेस टू माइनस के इफ यू ऑब्जर्व वॉट एवर इज हियर वी डू हैव वन लेस सेम इज द केस हियर सी ईयर वी डू हैव थ्री वन लेस हियर सो वॉट एवर वी डू हैव हियर के विल हैव वन लेस सो दैट विल बी के माइनस वन सो फाइनली जेड इनवर्स ऑफ एफ ऑफ जेड इक्वल टू कोइफिशंट ऑफ Z is to minus k. This is the form final. This is the final formula. So which is equal to coefficient of Z is to minus k. So here with the Z is to minus k, we do have one plus this three, and with the Z is to minus k, we do have k minus one coefficient of Z is to minus k. So we do have. k minus one. So if you open this, so this is one plus three k minus three. So which is equal to three k minus two is the z inverse for this particular problem. Hope you understood the problem. Thank you.